The Little Inventors Challenge Mission Protect Our Oceans is led by NSERC in partnership with the Canadian Commission for UNESCO. Take the plunge and become an ocean scientist with us. Help us keep our oceans healthy and solve some of the problems they face with your own invention idea to protect the oceans. In this video, you will find out about the issue of pollution and how it affects the oceans, and why they need our help for a better future, and how to enter the challenge. Did you know that over 300 million tons of plastics are produced every year? And at least 8 million tons of plastic ends up in our oceans, 80% of all litter in the ocean. While some trash is directly thrown in the sea, most marine litter comes from inland drains, sewers, and carried by rivers. Human garbage, such as plastic of all kind, is very high on the list. Chemical pollution, such as pesticides and fertilizers from the agricultural industry, chemical waste from factories, sunscreen, chemical products, medicines, or sewage from households. There's so much rubbish now at sea that giant garbage patches have appeared. There are currently five of them around the world. How do they form? With currents bringing the garbage together. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is the largest one of them all and is estimated to be made of 1.8 trillion pieces of trash and measures 16 million square kilometers, the same size as the whole of Quebec. Oil that spills from cars on the roads, lawnmowers in gardens, or even from our own household waste, gets carried to the oceans. Rain washes off oil and it ends up in rivers and sewage systems before reaching its final destination, the oceans. Shipping and ocean traffic is recognized as the main cause of oil pollution in the oceans. With over 90,000 ships traveling across the globe daily, it is one of the most polluting industries. And it all adds up. The more traffic and population there is on Earth, the more pollution. Oil spills happen when oil tankers, ships that carry oil from one country or place to another, or offshore drilling, extracting oil from the ocean floor, leak oil into the ocean. Cleaning it up is very difficult, and sometimes involves creating a barrier around it and setting it on fire, but this causes even more pollution. Sound waves travel faster in the water than they do in the air. Dolphins, whales, fish, and other sea creatures all rely on sound to communicate, find food, or find their way through plenty of clicks, bubbles, and other grunts. But all the commercial ships, tankers, and leisure boats use motors that contribute to extra noise in the underwater world. Wind turbines, while a more environmentally friendly way to produce energy, also creates some noise over in underwater, which can affect seabirds and underwater creatures. So what can we do about all of these issues? This is where you come in. Can you think of ideas that could help? Stop so much trash going into the oceans, and before it gets there. Prevent oil spills, or deal with them in a more environmentally friendly way. Think about ways to reduce noise underwater. We all have a responsibility to do what we can to tackle the problem of ocean pollution. Governments, businesses, and companies need to change how they create products and deal with them. Canada is leading the way with plans to ban single-use plastics as soon as 2021 and is leading the Ocean Plastics Charter. How can you help protect the oceans? Time to get inventing! 
15 of your invention ideas will be made real to celebrate the launch of the Decade of Ocean Science in 2021. Check out our resources online, our other themed videos, and our inventors' logs to develop and prototype your ideas. You can find them at ncirc.littleinventors.org.